What's up, guys? I haven't done a video in a long ass time. <laughs> um, figured I'd start a video out for the new year. Uh, Civic's still running. <laughs> I beat it up last season. I gotta get it ready for next season. Uh, I figured I'd do a video on what it takes to put an F23 in a Civic. Because I get a lot of questions of how I did it and what it takes. Um, I guess we'll just start with the engine. The engine's an F23. Uh, it's the JDM spec one. Pretty sure they're all kind of the same. <laughs> um, the mounts, those are H22 swap mounts for an EK. Uh, they're actually like some knockoff eBay ones. Uh, I modified the rear one to make the engine lift up a little more in the back to help with the axle alignment. I've had any problems with my axles, so I guess that's helping. Um, what else? The other transmission it is an H series transmission. It's a H23. I have like a Prelude. Uh, the axles on this side is a uh, Integra axle. Wait, yeah, this side is an Integra axle out of a, a, a either DC2 or what was it? No, it wasn't DC2. This is a DA axle because my intermediate shaft is a 90 Accord manual. Um, and then this side is either, it can be either a DA or a DC2, doesn't matter, uh, Integra axle. Um, but the inner joint, I took it off and put a uh, an Accord, I like a 90 Accord end on it so it's sticking to the transmission better it's a little bit longer so it clips in better um what else oh the wiring harness it's a stock civic harness 96 uh so this car is a 96 uh, ex so it's an ex harness um i extended a few wires um obviously the alternator had to be relocated to the front because on these motors it's on the front not the back so those are all extended um what else? I made this bracket for the throttle cable. Um, that's from the single cam that used to be in the car. Um, I just flipped it upside down and like cut it to make it fit work and make it work. So that's a stock throttle cable. Um, a lot of the hoses are stock, like the brake booster hose. That's stock still. I just flipped it. It reaches. Um, the same thing with the the clutch uh, line. That's stock Civic. I just bent it differently to make it reach. Um, the distributor, um, this inner part is a, um, out of like a 90 Accord. Um, the internals are from a single cam Civic, which is a stock engine that was in this car. So I took the internals, put it in this one, made it work. So converted it to OBD2, so it plugs right in. Um, the plug wires are goofy. As you can tell, they kind of sit up kind of goofy because those are out of an H-series. I just had those laying around. I'm sure the F23 ones would work. I just didn't have them. Uh, what else? Um, the header. That's from an Accord. I don't know what kind of header it is. I forget. It's like a Bulls old speed or some shit. <laughs> um, it reaches perfectly to like where it should be. Um, obviously, I have like a weird test pipe welded together. Um, for now, it has like some eBay exhaust on it with no muffler. And yeah. Um... Um, what am I running for? Uh, the ECU is a, uh, it's just a P28 chipped. Nothing special. Um, it's kind of dark, but it's in there. Uh, also got the ostrich. That's my recent purchase to, uh, to tune it. I do have a chip burner. I was using that before, but the ostrich is a lot faster. Um, I got an eBay wide band in it now. It's actually working really well. Uh, so I've been fine-tuning it. Um, but other than that, I mean, it, it, it's pretty, I wouldn't say it's a simple swap, but it's not that hard. Obviously, I mean, you just kind of... <laughs> a lot of it making shit work. Um, now, on the, on the bracket here, this is from a 90 uh, Accord. Or I believe you can use an H22 one. I don't know a year. They seem to be the same, but there are different ones. Um, you can't use the stock post mount of an F23 because it's really far back. It won't reach. 
Um, it bolts on. Um, it's very close to the timing belt. I really do need to take it off and uh, sand it down a little bit, but it hasn't given me any issues yet, so I've kind of been letting it eat. Uh, rear hoses, I mean, these are stock Civic hoses. It's cut and flipped and made work. Same thing this one. The lower hose, stock. Um, I didn't hook up the heater core. All that's been looped and deleted, so it's pretty much just like a, a race car. It's not really a street car at this point, so I really don't have no heater and enough, and everything's got it out of it. So a lot of that stuff's been deleted or removed. EGR has been removed. Everything's been removed. Um, I'm running one belt just for the alternator. No power steering or nothing. Uh, I believe this belt is from a 2000 Accord. You can buy uh, like a DX, I think. It doesn't come with AC, so it's like the perfect AC delete belt because it's the perfect size. So, yeah, most of it's just like OEM junkyard shit, so <laughs> just done together. So, I figured I'd make a little video about what it takes because I get a lot of questions on mounts and axles and all that stuff. Um, but shift box, cables, that's all of a 90 Accord too. Um, I ended up buying a parts car, just taking everything from it. Some shift box Accord I bought and just stripped everything out of it. Um, I mean, as you can see in the older videos, it, it performs surprisingly well. <laughs> um, it's been taking a beating. Um, I rev it to about 7, almost 8K. <laughs> and it takes it like a boss. Um, uh, what else? As far, as far as modifications, it's pretty much a stock engine right now, other than the header and the, it's got an S2000 throttle body. Um, bolts right on. I still need to port the manifold. It kind of overhangs a little bit. Um, these manifolds are like a two-piece design, so I'm going to pull it all apart and port it out eventually. Um, I did delete VTEC. <laughs> it's locked in now. I took the pins from another, went to the junkyard, yanked the pins out of another head, and Put them in this one so now it's got like two long pins instead of like a short pin and a long pin so now all, all uh, four valves open at the same time um honestly i think it made a big difference a lot of people are saying it's kind of stupid but i feel like it helped the low end a lot even more so now it really feels torquey um but uh, all the older videos of it at the track, I was on this uh, eBay base map, <laughs> honestly. Uh, so now I finally, you know, got a, my tune setup going on. I got Chrome. Um, yeah, I've been kind of working on it. Uh, so hopefully the track opens what, in the next couple months. So hopefully with the new tune, it might actually be a little bit faster. I'm hoping to get into uh, the fastest it ran so far is a 911 in the 8th. I'm hoping to, uh, what's it called? Get into the eights, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I'm hoping to hit up a quarter mile track this year. I really want to see what it does in the quarter mile. Because I feel like that's when it's really starting to pick up. Um, I did get tires for it. The last event, I was running the Toyos. I took them off because I don't want to get them flat spotted because I've been sitting in here for a little while. Um... I don't think I just said anything. I got a new lift for the garage <laughs> from Maco. It's pretty sick. Right now I got this piece of shit Volkswagen stuck on it. Got to do a trans in it. Um, <laughs> and yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much what I've been up to. Um, got a new truck. You know, tow the Civic around. I need a new tow rig, so I was sick of driving hoopty, so I bought a truck. Um, <laughs> It's a 2018 uh, Chevy Colorado with the V6 towing package. I uh, put the Rough Country uh, leveling kit on it in the front, which I think looks amazing. Doesn't feel like you're driving an SUV anymore. Actually looks like a truck now. Um, it's a uh, work truck edition. <laughs> so it doesn't have any like fancy uh, city boy stuff. But uh, gets the job done so far, you know. Not been too bad. Um, what other projects we got going on? Working on that car too. Um, that one's probably gonna be boosted soon, hopefully. 
<laughs> Got a lot of shit to put in this one. Um, but yeah. So hopefully that answers some people's questions. Um, oh yeah. Well, right now it's dialed in pretty well. I mean, it fires right up now. Runs pretty good. Runs like kid. Almost runs like a stock car. <laughs> I'm really disappointed with the uh, VTEC locked in. It doesn't look like a dual cam, but whatever. <laughs> Also, I've been playing around with the fuel. I, I, uh, I think the last event we went to, I put, uh, I mixed up some E85 with premium. <laughs> I think I did like a gallon of E85 and two gallons of premium, or I don't remember now. Um, honestly, I feel like it actually did a little bit something. I don't know, maybe it's just me in my head. Um, uh, I know with the tune, I had to give it a lot more fuel than it was running before, so I don't know. Um, I want to go full E85 with it over the winter. Um, do the fuel lines and uh, fix my jerry rig fuel lines I got going on. And yeah, um, maybe pull the pistons out. Kind of want to do a K series pistons in it. Go stupid compression with it. Get a little extra horsepower out of it. Just have some fun. I mean, honestly, it's just a beater. <laughs> you know, I'm just having fun out there. It's fun hurting people's dreams because <laughs> the car just looks like a shit box. And it really is. At the end of the day, it is. it's just a bunch of used parts from laying around the garage and stowing shit together. Uh, I'll put the harness bar in it. I need to get a harness for it. Right now, I'm just running a stock seat belt. It's kind of ricer, but whatever. I had to take it out of my Integra because I, oh yeah, I sold the Integra. <laughs> so I kept the harness bar. Sold the Integra, got Dodge Dakota for it, and then I ended up getting rid of the Dodge Dakota and buying this thing. So, uh, whatever. Uh, Got a bunch of junk. Been messing with. Got this old school lawnmower. I'm cutting my grass with. It's pretty sick. Those fucking gangster wheelies. <laughs> Got this welder. Now we actually do some like some fabrication. <laughs> Gotta ask Harbor Freight welder anymore. Um. Got the parts washer. Got a lot of shit I need to set up. I've been out moving a lot of stuff here. I'm trying to get this shop put together. Got press. It's pretty sick. Um, I need a new jack. I mean, uh, what's it called? Yeah, a bottle jack for it. I um, have time to get one of those Harbor Freight ones where it's like it hooks up to the airline and it's like hydraulic. So you just hit the button. I feel like that'd be kind of sick. Mini fridge. Could have a mini fridge in your garage. But yeah, garage slowly coming together. Starting to stockpile parts again. I've got too much shit going on, like always. A bunch of junk just laying around everywhere. Transmission parts. <laughs> Another engine. Got a shit ton of wheels. It's junk everywhere. Um, yeah, I gotta get this Jetta fixed. So I can put my car in the lift and pull the motor, probably. I don't know, kind of torn. I don't know if I want to pull the motor or not. Or or just throw the H series head on it and call it a day. Alright, well, I guess that'll be the end of this video. A little update. Um, probably make another video when I start actually building this motor or whatever I'm doing. Um, definitely gonna be recording more events. So, stay tuned for that. Hopefully, this car will be done by next year. Well, not next year, but like this upcoming season. So, we can have some fun with both of them. Uh, we'll see. I guess I'll see you guys in the next one.